Welcome to the world of Winter 2! Together, we will be filling out this world with various kingdoms, cultures, and civilizations throughout this long-running series. And don't you dare click away from this video before you hear this next part. This is a lightly modded vanilla experience, and I have compiled a handful of mods such as the Create mod to better help bring this world to life. There will be a list of the main mods in the description below, so you'll have a better idea of how you can help. This build series won't be your typical kind of show because this is a world you can have a direct impact on. You see, I have a pretty general idea of where we'll be starting the first kingdom, but I'll be letting all of you decide what kinds of builds, themes, layouts, designs, purposes, and just about anything else you can think of really help mold this world into being. So be sure to leave comments with all your ideas, click the like button of your favorite ideas, and keep an eye on my YouTube community posts for your chance to vote what is built next in this world. Whoever comes up with the idea that gets chosen, I will find a way to immortalize you in this world forever. That means all of you have an opportunity to be immortalized in this giant community project. Now, I've chosen to start this world in a large biomes world because I really, really do like the idea that you can't really see other biomes when, when you're in your current biome and you're looking to build stuff like, say, cities and whatnot. Like, it just, it feels more correct to me that you can't actually... Uh, see like a desert or a darker forest, and unless you're intentionally meaning to be on the edge. So, let's talk about the early game. As everyone does, I went mining straight away. I found a natural cave system and followed it to the bottom of the world. I don't like spending too much time with poor tools, so finding diamonds is always my go-to starting place. I quickly find myself an amethyst geode, so now we're gonna have a telescope! After a little digging around, I find my first diamonds! Diamonds? <gasps> diamonds! <laughs> yeah. And eventually I managed to get the most important item of them all, a clock. I also found a few more diamonds, but by this point I'm starting to miss the sun, so I decide to head back to the surface. So I think in the spirit of making sure that this is a world where we're going to be focusing on building, I should probably build something. <laughs> and I think one of the things I want to do is I notice that the sun rises over here and obviously sets on the other side. Uh, I, I do really like the idea that this middle section is like dedicated to like a keep, not a castle, a keep. They're definitely smaller, but we can still make it fairly large. Having some walls on it, you know, the Lord would live in the section. But how do we get over here? We need a bridge. And I think it'd be cool to bridge over to that far side over there, which is kind of hard to tell, but there's definitely a gap over there. And we're going to need a bridge to be able to get back and forth. Uh, and I think that might be my top priority is building a bridge. Now, initially my plan was to build the bridge out of wood, so I began harvesting trees with my Tree Capitator mod. But on this brief journey I had a change of heart, and decided stone would be worlds better, and that would require a mine. So in preparation of being underground for hours at a time, I quickly rounded up all of the villagers and animals with this really cute pickup mod. Yeah, you're so stupid, I got it. Look how cute he looks in my hand. He's like a child! <laughs> it's the greatest thing ever! I dare you to tell me that's not the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen. <laughs> and now they should all be safe. The next step in my mind, however, was still diamonds if you can believe it. If I'm about to collect a bunch of stone materials, I need to be out of the Iron Age for my own sanity. Listen, all I'm saying is that this entire mine shaft, as big as it is, didn't give me as many diamonds as I think it should have, and I'm excited to come back here later with a better tool to uh, uh, keep mining on it because there, I got a little data pack for insta mining with netherite and I'm excited to see how much we've missed. But if we look in here, you'll see we got almost a stack and a half, just shy of a stack and a half, which means we got all of our diamonds, so great. Now we can basically just get all the tools. I'm gonna go get some uh, more materials for this build. I got a bunch of deep slate, which is really nice. I do want to get a lot more tough, so that's something I need to grab. And I need a just a ton of stone. It's gonna, you know, so I have to go back and, and mine all of that now. So now's the time. Let's grab some, a few resources here. We're gonna build this bridge. 
Do I know what this bridge is gonna look like? No. Do, have I pre-built it? No. Do I know anything about it? No. Uh, I have some ideas for it uh, that I want to make sure to incorporate. Uh, I want there to be a drawbridge on this, so I want to have the bridge kind of look like uh, almost like it's broken in not the not the middle but closer to the edge as if like I still want there to be like an arch I think like a big grand arch but I want it to kind of feel like like as it arches out this way it's like hanging and there's broken bits and like parts of the stone are barely holding on as it's reached the edge and then there's a gap and then kind of the same thing on this side where it kind of feels like Almost like they're like it was complete at one time, and then they just smashed out a section to install a drawbridge. I think so far so good. So I got this macaws mod thing, right? So we got these like fancy windows. Ooh, it looks so nice. It also gives us some of these fancy little railings that I'm trying out. Not sure how much I like them, but they seem pretty cool so far. Uh, normally. I would build this in a, in, a, in a creative world, and I would do all the details and the texturing, and then when I would build it in my survival world, like, all of that would just go in on phase one. Like, it would, I would be building it from the ground up, and all of the details would just be a part of that construction. Not this time around, so that you guys get to kind of see the build process a little bit, I guess, uh, <laughs> where everything's just kind of smooth and flat and bland and a little boring. Um, but that's just how it goes. I have to get the shapes right. So, speaking of shapes, I obviously don't want this to be flat underneath because that would be super ugly. So, now it's time to come under it and kind of start, like, giving this its shape. It's weird building from scratch like this again because I can already tell, like, what parts of this are just, like, completely going to be removed, which parts are just temporary, which parts are placeholders, and which parts I'm going to keep. Um, so let's walk through a little bit. Uh, I do want to have this gatehouse here, uh, and connect it to the drawbridge. Look how cool these chains are. You can connect chains. It's so cool. But, eh, we're gonna have to get rid of it eventually. That's one of those things that I'm like, it's cool, but it's temporary. Uh, so effectively, right, we have the create mod, which means this drawbridge and those gates themselves can and will eventually be fully functional. They will move. <laughs> this thing can raise up and lower down. It can't right the second, but eventually it will. Uh, same with these guys. They'll eventually be able to go up and down, uh, which means I need more space at the top. So it's kind of, I'm kind of building the top sort of as a temporary thing until we figure out how I want to do the walls around this upper section for the uh, main keep. Again, not a castle, just a keep. Uh, we only got lords living here. No kings, no queens yet. <laughs> uh, but down here, this is an exciting spot because it's it's in this awkward stage of like, the shape has come together, but none of the details exist. Whoo! I have not done building like this in a long time, and it probably shows. <laughs> uh, so, here we are. Survival, no creative test world, no pre-building, no Lightmatica. I think I did an okay job. Uh, I did a lot of details down here for like the underbelly, which probably won't get seen a whole lot and didn't do as much at top, which in retrospect may have been uh, the opposite of what I should have done. I probably should have focused a little more up top and a little less on the bottom. So I don't think there's going to be a whole lot going on down below, at least not for a long time. This bridge's primary function is to, you know, stay on top to go across to the other top. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. But I really like the way that this turned out, how it's like been smashed out. And I could have done, I, I think I should have like done a few more stairs underneath it with cobble, but I can go in later and, and uh, correct for that. But I think it turned out really good. Surprisingly, they'll be coming around over here and we can take a look hopefully a little better Here, let's just hardcore parkour down here. Yeah. Yeah, so I, mm, I'm, I'm torn. I think I should still like I want to make make the center like almost a little more rounded and As it comes to the edges like carve a little deeper in I think that would look nicer 
overall, but you know, again, this is this is just me being in the game playing as as one does versus, you know, building something perfect. Now, now I'm excited the chains are cool and whatnot, but I'm excited that the drawbridge and the gates are going to be fully active uh, when we get into the create mod. So yeah, this uh, this gatehouse is going to get bigger. It's definitely going to change. So, you know, the, it is what it is right now, but it's I, it's going to be better. <laughs> it's going to look better uh, as we progress and we make more uh, changes and terraform and do all the stuff on this side then we then we'll, then we'll know how this is supposed to blend and then we can build it up and make it better but with all that being said i think that's gonna do it thank you so much for watching be sure to leave a like subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the next one bye